did actually try definitely to, do, to take specific shots. Sometimes I even stuck shot, took stock shots, should I say, because I had pictures in photo libraries in the 90s where you know, you'd know you sell them and get 50% of it and things like that. So I would take stock shots. Like if someone was, had got really bad frostbite and the toes were absolutely black and that means they were going to be amputated. Um, I'd take pictures of that, I think, oh, that's a stock shot, and sell that to a medical magazine, you know, <laughs> things like that. So I was always had my stock shot head on. I've scanned a few, a couple of those as well. Yeah, yeah, as well as my landscape shot, you know. So I tell people I've got all my digits and they can check. Ten fingers and ten toes. That's you need your fingers rare. to yeah. take, you know, pictures of things because you need to be able to press shutters and that. But most people that climb all 14 don't, they have bits chopped off. And I always tell people I've got ten fingers and ten toes, which makes 21 sticky out bits. <laughs> including my nose <laughs> and obviously if you have your toes chopped off you can't wear flip flops can you because you haven't got anything to stick that plastic bit through uh, but yeah it's difficult taking pictures at altitude um, I, I mentioned it's the death zone it is really a death zone up above 8,000 metres and that's because you know there's no rescue team uh, there's no um, helicopters can fly that high um, uh, that's my 10 to 8,000 metres 26,000 feet as I say where um, you know jumbo jets fly you know humans can only survive for a couple of days at those altitudes and there's no chance of rescue. Um, I couldn't resist it at that spot. When I got out of the tent there, I went to the edge. Of, that's a 10,000 foot drop straight to base camp off that ledge in old money. I couldn't resist it. I stood on the edge of that 10,000 foot drop. 